to try and get Democrats over to his side. Joining me now is former White House political director and deputy chief of staff to President Reagan and our Fox News contributor, Good Mr. Morning. Ed Rollins. Good to see pleasure. you, Ed. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, what do you make of uh, what's happening now in Kentucky and in Oregon? You know, Bernie Sanders started out being like a chihuahua nipping at her heels. He's now a German <laughs> shepherd who's bitten into her thigh, and she can't get rid of him. And he's going all the way to the convention. He obviously has an extraordinary amount of young people uh, helping him out. Uh, you know, she's limping into this convention, and I, as Trump is getting stronger and Republicans are coming, she's still got to get rid of him. And obviously, he's dragging her further and further to the left, and I think they're going to have a real rock and roll convention. Mm -hmm. We're saying he needs to drop out of the race, but he's hey, not. look, he's, he's successful. He's won like three-fourths of he's, the last 14 he, primaries. He, he actually won more delegates yesterday in the combination of Oregon and Kentucky. Uh, not, not, not that she's not going to be the nominee because of the superdelegates, but he's the one with the enthusiasm. He's the one that has the momentum. And obviously, if they don't get him back in the camp at the end of the day here, it's going to be a hard, hard battle for him. All right. About two weeks ago, you joined the Super PAC. A great America PAC. It's a Trump super PAC. Yeah, absolutely. What's your mission? You know, our mission is to try and fill in the blanks. Uh, uh, Trump made a decision early on that he's going to self fund a campaign. I think he's now made a determination that that's an enormous undertaking. She's had super PACs. She's had what super PACs allow you to do is bigger, bigger contributions can be given. Uh, normally it takes three or four years to put a campaign together, a fundraising base. It always takes a couple years. Let's try and start now, which he has to do for his campaign. Uh, he needs to supplement that with, with super PAC. Now he said in the past he doesn't want a super PAC. He doesn't need it. He said, he, you know, he doesn't want to, he doesn't need it if he wants to spend his $10 billion. I don't think he wants to do that at this point in time. He doesn't want to sell, sell buildings or golf courses I, and I don't think he needs to I think there's a lot of people who want to contribute to him a lot of very substantial people he's, he's no one's ever gonna think Donald Trump is a bot man Donald Trump basically is an independent guy mm -hmm. he's well to do probably gonna be the richest man to ever run for president and at the end of the day here he's not gonna get bought off by drinks at happy hour or by, by a big contribution there are their calls his aides Trump's aides and people who are close to Trump are calling for a blacklist calling for people that have worked against him in his campaign not to get the RNC contract that's foolish because there's a lot of talent Talent out there on the other side. Uh, we had, you know, 17 campaigns, including but his. But people love him for that. He's well, loyal. He, he, well, he's, there's plenty of room for loyalty, but now at this point in time, you've got to you've got to really build your your operation. And I think mm -hmm. to a certain extent, uh, there's some very good operatives out there that were running other campaigns, and that you need to you need to bring them all together. If you want to have winning politics, it's about addition. Bring people to the game. Certainly, your players are the ones that are front and center, but others others can come to the camp. What do you make of all this talk about a third party? There's no there's no third party. You know, the end, end of the day again. It's a year-long effort to put something like that together. There's a lot of disillusioned losers and a lot of people unhappy with the, the turnout. But day by day, Trump's getting stronger and stronger, and there's nobody out there who can challenge him and beat him. Well, what's your message for the people who are very, who are leaders in the Republican Party that have come out and spoken against Donald Trump recently, like bite, Mitt Romney? Bite your tongue if you're not happy. There are a lot of people who didn't like Romney and supported him in the end of the day. And I think at the end of the day here, he, he and everybody else needs to be behind Trump. Trump's the nominee of this party. He won it fair and square. He's still winning strong. He's going to have a big victory in California. I had two big victories yesterday. So. All right. Ed, thank, thank you, you so much. Great my, to see my you. My pleasure. Morning. Thank you very much. He has